Now then, my friends, I am in New York City. Now, coming to New York City can be expensive, what with your flights and your accommodation. However, it doesn't have to be when you get here. If you're on a limited budget, there are lots and lots of free things to do in this amazing city. One of them is the vessel at Hudson Yards, which is right behind me here. And I'm gonna show you that today. But before I do, hit that subscribe button and click the little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, let's go. Okay, so your tickets are free. Arrive before 9.30 a.m. on the same day that you want to climb and visit this uh, remarkable piece of architecture. There are boards right here, which are right behind me here, which basically you go onto and you order your ticket. I did mine earlier on. You get a little barcode that you can scan with your mobile phone and it will email you the ticket or you can just pop in your mobile phone number and then it'll obviously again email you the ticket, which is what I've done. It will allocate a time for you. I got in at 10. It didn't seem too busy to be honest, but it can change uh, varying months, so just keep an eye out for that. You can also book online. I'll put all the details in the link below. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this masterpiece behind me before we start climbing all the stairs that is in there. The extraordinary centerpiece of Hudson Yards is a spiral staircase, a soaring new landmark meant to be climbed. This interactive artwork was imagined by Thomas Heatherwick and the Heatherwick Studio as a focal point where people can enjoy new perspectives of the city and one another from different heights, angles and vantage points. Comprising of 154 intricately interconnecting flights of stairs, almost 2,500 individual steps that I'm going to climb today, 80 landings. The vertical climb offers remarkable views of the city, river and beyond. Now let's go and take a look because you know how much I like to climb steps and stairs. Come on. Okay, this thing is absolutely outstanding, especially from underneath of it. It's just amazing. Unbelievable. I can see lots and lots of these uh, boards where you can order your tickets from, so that's not a problem. Just make sure you've got your mobile phone with you, otherwise just pre-order it uh, online before you get here and you'll be able to get a printout ticket of it to bring along with you. Now the line is getting a little bit longer, so we'll uh, join that in a moment. I've got between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. You are allocated one hour. <laughs> Honestly, just take a look. From this angle, it's outstanding. getting quite excited to go inside and have a look at this thing. Now, this is my ticket lock. It just got basically emailed to me. It was pretty straightforward. Even I worked it out. It's not difficult. So, uh, and as I say, if there's more than one of you, it's not a problem. It just asks you how many people that you want to put in. Oh my word, it's just unbelievable. I can't wait to get in this thing. Okay, so it's getting kind of busy now. Someone who uh, gets to the back of the line there. And let's go in and take a look at this thing. Thank you. Sorry, buddy. It's good. Talk. Yes. I'll uh, take your questions. Hi. Hello. 1020, so come on. Okay, so it got busy really quickly and a lot of people uh, didn't get the tickets. So make sure you get here at 9.30 if you want to get here and go up this thing on the same day. Okay, so the line's moving pretty quickly. I'm, uh, I'm super excited actually, because apparently this gets some amazing views. Um, I am told though I can't put my tripod down, so I've got to carry it at all times, which means I don't have to run up and down the stairs and keep putting my tripod up and setting it up. So you'll just have to uh, go with me. This one? 
Die Front? Ja. Okay. Okay, and we are in. The guy said to me, uh, just one. I feel all sad and lonely now. Nobody, nobody with me, no friends. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, so if you cannot manage to climb all of these stairs and you do have a disability, don't worry, they do have elevators here for people with disabilities. Okay, are you ready? Shall we climb these stairs? Come on, let's go. Okay, this is absolutely stunning. It's like being inside a beehive or something. It's really weird. Just look at the view of the river as well here. Okay, let's keep climbing. Good job I've had my Weetabix this morning. Oh man, just look at this. Just fantastic. Okay, we can see the helicopters landing on the west side here. What I will say, it's taller than it actually looks because you get some fantastic views when you're up here. Okay, let's keep going. There's so many different angles to this thing and so many things to see. I need to go the other side as well. 
and see what we can see from there. Although when you get to the top, I'm pretty sure you'll, we'll, we'll have a walk away all the way around. Oh man, I'm out of breath. Okay, let's keep going. It, it is like being in a beehive. Okay, let's go this way. Taking two steps at a time. Honestly, this is an experience that you've got to see if you're in New York City. And what makes it even better, it's free. Okay, we are at the top, my friends. Let's go and take a look at the view. I'm taking one step at a time now. Oh, oh wow. No way. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna walk all the way around the top. I'm gonna to show you the view from my perspective of what you'll see when you get to the top of here. Come on. Through her crowded streets 
So if you come right to the top of it, you can actually see the top of the Empire State Building right here, just behind me. Take a look. Okay, so there's only one word to describe this, and I'm gonna tell you now, it is stunning. If you are coming to New York, seriously, put this on your to-do list, because it is amazing. What <laughs> amazing views, and as I say, free of charge. We're actually uh, that high up, you can actually get a view of um, people having a, a swim in their swimming pool down there. Okay, now 30 Hudson Yards, which is right over there, I'm going to read this out to you because I'm not going to memorise it all, uh, is 1,296 feet. It'll be home to the city's tallest and most mind-boggling, terrifying observation deck known as Edge. Now I've seen it, it's on the other side and it's like a glass edge or something that just sticks out. It uh, does look terrifying, I have to say. It's on the 75th floor and more than 1,000 feet above the city. I'll save that one for another time. Come on. Okay, so there you go. That was the vessel at Hudson Yards. Come and see it for yourself. Don't just watch it on YouTube. It's absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's the end of my vlog for today. Remember, like, subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.